Hey man, stay safe world. You already know what's going on, man. We gotta tap in with this situation that's going down with the rising Jane and Finch rapper Doobie that just got arrested for taking out one of his rivals, allegedly, man. We gotta talk about this situation because it's super crazy, man. Me as an American looking on into the Toronto rap scene, I really gotta say, compared to American rap, Toronto rap, it really seems like these dudes be talking about and doing what they say in the songs. And I feel like it's a crazy misconception because people think, oh yeah, Canada, like they're not really on that, they're mad polite. Like it seems like almost all the top rappers from Toronto, I'm not counting Drake, but like all the like top, like large, I wouldn't say underground, but basically commercial rappers really be getting into shit or getting hit with shit, catching bodies all over the place, man. And this is one of the most blatant incidents that basically went down and has resulted in Doobie basically getting charged for a homicide and possibly might face his whole life in prison man it's a crazy story that went down and it's not the first and it's not the last story happening in this type of way in toronto man we got to get into this right now but before we do i'm gonna need you to like comment subscribe we're gonna run into this video man make sure y'all check out the merch link in the description at staysafeworld.com you already know what's going on let's tap in And it was basically reported today by the Toronto Police Service. An arrest was made in a homicide investigation, and it was none other than the rising rapper Doovy out of the Jane and Finch neighborhood, man. On Thursday, October 6, 2022, at 1.41 p.m., officers attended a shooting at 5 Needle Furway. It was reported that officers located a man suffering from a gunshot wound and the man succumbed to his injuries and was pronounced deceased. The deceased individual was identified as Osman Bangora, 28 of Toronto. But then on Friday, May 26, 2023, Tafari Minot, 21 of Toronto, was arrested and charged with second degree murder. He was scheduled to appear in a court video on Saturday, May 26 at Toronto Bail Center 2201 Fitch Ave West at 9 a.m. in room 204. Investigators are appealing to witnesses. Anyone who may have security cameras or who was driving in the area have dash cameras to contact the police. And Doobie's one of the craziest scenarios because I wouldn't say he's like the top op in this whole Toronto rap world, but bro has beef with damn near every like big ass person coming out right now, man. It's just crazy to see. He had diss songs dissing Houdini, man. He even had a whole nother rapper say that anyone that's listening to his music is gonna get done up in the worst way. Message for everybody. Anyone that fucks with my ops, suck your mom. You can get it. Do not be a victim. I'm not hearing that old music. Oh, this, that, you're getting it. Fuck that. You will make CP20. Even fans driving down the highway, man. It's like one of the wildest scenarios that I've ever seen, especially in rap in general. I've never seen it get so bad that a dude came out and said, yo, anyone who's listening to this man's music, we smoking him, man. That's crazy. Imagine just being a fan driving down the street in Toronto, man, you know, vibing, listening to this music, having nothing to do with this whole situation, and then you just get blamed at on some random shit, bro. That's really what the reality of this shit was. And it's like, yeah, in any rap scene, I feel like there's always going to be beefs and stuff, but I feel like Toronto, it really seems like it's like a crab in a barrel mentality because there's only so many spots sure like you could have a different fan base and stuff but everyone's trying to be like the top guy out of toronto and people in toronto like these dudes are just crazy like you look at top five basically had a similar situation like this man it seems like every single person is kind of embroiled in some type of violent history throughout that man even people like pressa and then you look at people that didn't quite make it that were in the streets like houdini that got gunned down in a way similar to this that just kind of shows man and it's like people are calling it karma definitely when looking at this situation because you know doobie had a lot of beef with houdini you know the slain rapper that was basically killed off about two to three years ago who was actually fired and they had a lot of diss tracks traded back and forth and throughout that time it's like people are calling it karma because after houdini died not saying that this guy had anything to do with it we already talked about that previously but he was dissing him and then now look he's getting like you know in a voice facetime in jail trying to fight for his life and shit like that 
you know i wouldn't be surprised though if they end up beating this situation because it doesn't really look like the police have a lot of evidence in this case if they're still asking for more camera footage and stuff like that but it seems like they have some type of hunch and since someone died it's obviously a very serious situation so it's going to be crazy to see what exactly goes down I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, it looks like a lot of these rappers be catching bodies, but then somehow beating them. So, you know, if there's no evidence, no face, no case, and obviously there's nothing much you could do at this point. But it's just crazy to see like the evolution of this Toronto scene and so many people getting killed, dying off, going to jail, you know, getting locked up and stuff like that. It's terrible to see because a lot of their music be honestly fire, but it seems like a trend in the general rap situation. I mean, there's always been shootings and stuff. There's always been that type of stuff. And a lot of these people, they're like rappers that were street dudes before. And like, it's not like they're going out and killing people for social media. I mean, it does happen sometimes, but a lot of these dudes, you gotta remember, were in the streets and had no other options. And then this is where they took their career and they're still in the streets or still have that street mentality. So this is what it ends up as, man. But it's crazy, man. This is just a message to the youth, man. Make sure y'all don't waste your lives away and do that. Like if you pop off and you're a big rapper and you're getting interviewed by Complex and having trips out to LA, and having like a big motion like that man don't waste it on murking some random ass dude for no reason you know because crashing out is only going to affect you and at the end of the day people are going to remember you right now but you in jail for like 20 years you think people are going to remember you when you get out it's going to be hard to see man let me know what y'all think though real say say shit you already know what's going on make sure you like comment subscribe man peace